Okay, so it's been uh, about three months since I did a review on my 2021 Polygon Siskiyou T7. Uh, I already started right off the bat with some upgrades before I even started riding the bike because I got some parts as I was waiting for the bike to arrive. But since then, after riding it for several more months, I've come across some different things through experimenting and have since upgraded some stuff further. So I finally went with a double down casing with the rear tire. I found that I'm kind of riding at the this particular bike's max potential and I'm starting to wonder if the rims are gonna handle the type of riding I'm doing. Uh, they're already getting pretty beat up, so rims are something I'm gonna be considering, but I did get the double down casing with a uh, version of the Minion DHR2, and that's beefed up my back end. Um, I finally got rid of the Schwabel Hans Dampf on the front, which is the tires that came with the bike. <clears throat> I have come to find that the terrain I ride, in particular the most often at Alaire State Park, for instance, and a lot of the stuff around here, this uh, Maxis Asagai, which I got in a 2.5, is what so, some refer to as the Velcro of tires for this area's terrain. And since getting this last week, I can definitely say this is one of the grippiest tires I've ever used so far. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't too happy with the Schwabel Hans Domps, and I am very happy with these tires. Uh, another thing is <clears throat> I decided since I'm 5'10 and I got, even though I got kind of short legs, I got kind of long arms and I'm almost at the borderline of this bike being too big at a large 29 inch. Uh, however, I stumbled across these bars made by SQ Lab and they have more of a back sweep. I'll try to show you that. You can see them from this angle. Um, they have like a 12 degree back sweep, 45 millimeter rise, so it's higher rise. And they're in a 31.8 thickness. So I got a Spank Spoon 318, 35 length for 31.8 thick bars. So I got a new stem to go with the bars. And I have to say that for me personally, this greatly increased the control of the cockpit and the front end handling for me. So between a grippier tire and changing up the geometry a little bit of my cockpit, uh, I have a better handling front end in my opinion. Another upgrade I did was I'm a graphic designer, so I designed my own new fork decals as you can see those are not the decals that come on the recon so i made my own um and another thing that i've come across that i've changed since the last video is i had bought the one up i mean not one up uh the absolute black oval chain ring and i've come to find through a lot of uh experienced testimonies that it might be why I was having some inconsistent shifting in my mid gears where I was getting a lot of slippage and, and skipping gears and stuff and they all pointed out it was probably the oval chain ring so not to bum anybody out who went out and bought those things because of me but I tried putting on the original Shimano Dior chain ring that came with the bike and lo and behold not only do I have no loss of power compared to the oval chain ring, which makes me wonder if it's just a placebo thing and it didn't really give me much of an advantage, makes me wonder if the very little advantage it gives me is worth the $100 for it. But one thing I did notice by going with the regular round ch uh, chain ring is that my now my shifting is smoother again and I have a more consistent cadence with my pedaling. So go figure. Um, another thing I did was these pedals that I got, which I like, which are a co they're Rock Brothers, but they're a copy of the one-up composites. 
I screwed, I uh, did a few rotations of each peg to make them stick out further and have a grippier uh, pedal to sneaker grip going on. That's about it. So those are the changes. Kind of changed up the front end a whole bunch. And I am headed up to Mountain Creek tomorrow, bike park, and give it another go up there. See how she does. All right, at the end of this video, I'm going to include a couple clips that you might have seen in my other videos of me riding recently since my upgrades. Thanks, guys. Step off I made a couple weeks ago. 